a suspect by the name of Khalid Yagobi. And of course, they're going to highlight his name because we're on this propaganda against uh, Islamists right now because Israel said so, right? Uh, that guy was detained, by the way, uh, for the takedown for the ending of a person after intentionally plowing his car into pedestrians. We did watch this as a clip over on uh, Kick Only where we do our extended hangouts, uh, which is, by the way, is where this, these chat's coming from. You guys got to go to the NPCshow.com right there to find that place right there. Bam, upper left-hand corner, okay? But anyways, a man from Los Angeles is facing M charges after he drove his car intentionally into a crowd of pedestrians at a Long Beach intersection on Saturday evening. Yeah, guys, this is around where you see that, that that fake roller coaster, little overhead thing that people drive underneath in Long Beach, you know? Upon arrival at the scene, Long Beach police officers found 60-year-old Romela uh, Quarantera Aguilar lying on the roadway, having been struck by a vehicle. Despite immediate medical aid rendered by the officers and subsequent assistance from the Long Beach Fire Department, Aguilar was pronounced gone at the scene. Yeah, another Hispanic gone. Look at that. Uh, you sure you want to keep voting for this, guys? Huh? Dummycrats? Huh? Hispanic community to keep voting uh, Democrats? Additional victims were transported to local hospitals and are reported to be in stable condition. The suspect, identified as 46-year-old Khalid Yagobi of Los Angeles, was driving a Chevy Bolt. Oh, man, you plowed them with an electric car at a high rate of speed. Okay, got it. In the wrong direction. He ran a red light and collided with multiple vehicles and pedestrians without slowing down. Yagobi was detained at the scene and is currently being held on a half a million dollar bond. Half a million in, in L.A.? Yeah, Long Beach is still LA County, so I'm surprised that uh, you guys are actually charging bail. Yeah, uh, is he not the raw? Is not dark enough? Is that what it is? He's not dark enough. I think that's what it is. Long Beach Police Department led chief, led by Chief Wally Habish, immediately launched an investigation into the incident. Preliminary evidence suggested that the collision was possibly intentional, prompting homicidals and collision investigation detectives to take over the case. The FBI also responded to the scene. Police, political activist Laura Loomer claimed on Twitter that Khalid Yagobi is a M terrorist who intentionally carry out the attack along with an alleged photo of Yagobi. Yeah, this is she. She's upset. She's like, oh my God, this is so awful. Not the best photo you could have posted of him. He looks very responsible. <laughs> Laura, what are you doing? Where's the propaganda? You got to Photoshop on like the turban and you know, and the mask, right? And the green band over his head. You gotta get with the program, Laura. Yeah? Why did Pal Brandon Brown writes, why did Palestinian American Khalid Yagobi intentionally run down and take out Romela Aguilar? Of course, you have to highlight the P word, right? You couldn't write, why did Semite American Khalid Yagobi, which by the way, Palestinians are also Semites, intentionally run over Romela Aguilar as she pushed her stroller on Long Beach. Oh, and there he is again. Again, not the worst photo of him. He's wearing a collared shirt. According to some Twitter users, the race of Yagobi is unknown and there is no mug shot. Well, we know he's a Semite, right? So, I mean, you know, stop you overusing that word. Oh, he's an anti Semite. So are Palestinians. So are Iranians. Yeah. Do you guys know that Semites are not a race? It's not, it's not Jewish people. Semites are people who speak a Semitic language, okay? Which includes Arabic and Farsi. Yeah, very big Semitic languages there. But they want to just take it for themselves. Oh, that's our thing. That's our thing. Yeah. They're going to start using the N-word. Oh, N-word is offensive to Israelis, okay? It's our word too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they call this a jihadi lone wolf attack. I warn that there will be an uptick of these. Yeah, we know that because of the, the head of Hamas called for it, you know? And, uh, you know, we keep we keep voting to send money to their opposition. You know, we keep sticking our noses in other people's businesses. Meanwhile, the people who are the loudest in support of Israel, a.k.a. Laura Loomer, a.k.a. Ben Shapiro, uh, have not served, will not serve, but want us to go perish for them, right? Yeah, guys, I'm not on either side. I don't want to get involved. This is not our war. This is theirs. Yeah, we're already th we're already spread thin enough across Taiwan and Ukraine. Now we're going to deal with these guys. You guys are on your own. Huh? I'm sure you guys can get all the European EU countries to help you guys out. Huh? You do control the printing of their money, right? 